back in one piece. After another day away from his family and his day job, Andrew Haynes back home. Earlier on, he was fighting fires as part of the world's largest volunteer fire brigade. Uh, crews worked very hard just down actually right behind where we're standing and managed to hold it to the southern side of the road. Australian communities rely on volunteer firefighters like Hain, but the intensity of this fire season is putting pressure on them and their families. Under pressure too is Prime Minister Scott Morrison, criticised for taking a holiday to Hawaii while the fires raged and for defending the country's fossil fuel industries, he's announced paid leave for volunteer firefighters who work in the public sector. I issued a directive to all Commonwealth uh, departments and agencies uh, that will see uh, the full paid leave uh, for emergency services be lifted to a minimum standard of four weeks. Four weeks. More than three and a half million hectares of land has burned over the last few months, with at least nine people killed and around a thousand homes destroyed. Scientists say climate change has contributed to this bushfire season being among the worst on record. Temperatures have been cooler in the last couple of days, but authorities say the fires could still fester for weeks or even months.